the wind shock it's a 70 cow herd approximately 70 cow herd and obviously that, that varies from year to year so i know um it's fully autumn fully aoe for the last for about 10 years now so that is Breeds is mixed uh, with, the, with, with at the same time a leaning seat towards Charlie and the limousine and maybe crossed with a bit of Smentel or a little bit of Aubrey. Um For the last couple of years, Angus has been used on the heifers. Um, we've never calfed any heifer of our own at any age other than 24 months. It's a, it's a mixed herd um, of mixed breed, but the emphasis is always on, on crossbreeding. Um, like we, we're continually crossing different breeds onto different cows all the time um, and, and reaping the benefits of that, of, of that system. Uh, well, sure, we've been genotyping here for, for I don't know, about 10 years. Um, I would recommend the genotyping, um, especially from birth. From, so because at that stage, from day one, you can start making decisions um, re regarding the, your herd's future um, with them animals, knowing that, you, that that animal is by exactly who you think it is and the traits of that animal are actually there. So you can make your, your, you can make your decisions based on facts um, and, uh, and not just uh, assumptions. I would encourage people to use the uh, genotyping program. Um, we are being encouraged every day to uh, embrace technology uh, through the TAMS grants and the likes. And uh, the genotyping program is just a different form of the same thing, of using modern technology to uh, increase performance and for us to make better choices and to increase profits going forward.